Hi, welcome to Deep with Dugan, Episode 1, brought to you by Matt Dugan, Lead Middleware and Cloud Architect at Shadowsoft, the open source systems integration experts. This is Episode 1, using Red Hat Software Collections for modern application development. The first obstacle many people encounter when using Red Hat Enterprise Linux as a development platform is an apparent lack of the modern languages and tools that they're accustomed to using. For example, Python 3, PHP 5, or Ruby on Rails. Luckily, using the recently released Red Hat Software Collections, we can include these packages without disturbing the stable collection of software already on the machine. So let's dive in. First, we need to enable the Red Hat Software Collections repository. This is delivered as a YUM repository, so it's pretty easy to do via the software management tool. We'll go to our software sources, scroll all the way down, and enable the software collections. Enter our root password to do that, and close it off. Now, we'll go ahead and drop into a terminal and see what we got. We'll start off just listing our repos. And there we are. We have the Red Hat Software Collections RPMs via an interesting string, RHSCL, for Red Hat Software Collections. We'll use that in our next step because what we're going to do is list the available packages just from that repository. I'm going to use a regular expression here to show me everything that starts with a lowercase a to z and finally includes the Red Hat Software Collections. Go ahead and sort that and type it to less so we can scroll through it. And there we are. So we have MariaDB, MySQL 5.5, Node.js version 10, the recent version of Perl, PHP 5.4, Postgres 9.2, Python 2.7, Python 3.3, and Ruby 1.9, which would enable us to use Ruby on Rails 3.2.8. All right. So I like Python, so I'm going to install Python 3 for my modern app. And you install this just like you would any other package. Now in this case I've already installed the dependencies to this package just to make the demo a little quicker. Okay, so let's go ahead and write an app. So every good modern app needs a spinner, the kind you've seen in ASCII art that starts kind of like this. It starts with a pipe, moves on to a slash, then a dash, so on and so forth, and moves back around. So let's go ahead and write that. So we'll start by getting Python out of our environment. We'll import the iter tools package and the time package to give us the ability to sleep between uh, changing our character. And we'll make a progress function. So here's our characters that we're going to cycle through and a double backslash to escape. I'm going to use a Python 3 style print function and of course carefully not include a line terminator. Sleep 200 milliseconds in between. That's basically it. So we'll run this as the main method in our module. Very good. Now remember, the Red Hat doesn't ship with Python 3.3 by default. So if we run this, we get an invalid syntax. So let's enable it with our software collections. Check it out. Now we have all, in, all that we need to start developing our modern application. That was Red Hat Software Collections, Deep with Dugan, Episode 1. Join us next time, and be sure to join us for the All Things Open conference in Raleigh, North Carolina next week on October 23rd. Have a great day.